Hi everybody, it's Annette with the Art of Intuition and today we're going to talk about limits and beliefs. <laughs> a lot of people always ask me how come I'm not getting what I want to get. You know, I'm not, I really don't like the word manifesting, sort of a human word, creating. I can't, I'm not, I'm trying to create something and it's not creating. Now, sometimes it's because it's not the right time. It's not the right time for the people. It's not the right time for the other people. It might not be the right time for us. But normally I've found when I find something's not coming in as quickly as I want it to come in, it's because I'm not ready. I don't believe. There's something going on within me where I might not believe it's possible. So let's talk about beliefs. If you really want something to come in, and let's just say you want a certain job situation to come in, maybe you want a relationship to come in, maybe you just want something to come in and it's not coming in. Number one, don't really get too attached to how it comes in. So that's kind of one thing. Sometimes we, we will limit stuff on how it comes in. Like we'll say, okay, I want this job to come in, but that's because this person has to come, come in, that person has to talk to me about it, and that's how it's going to happen. So we've already set up all these limits and conditions to it. You know, I want to I wanna teach a class, but I have to have a minimum of five people or I don't want to do it. <laughs> See the limits we create? It's like you're limiting yourself. And we don't even realize that because if you can't connect with one person, who gives a crap if five people show up? It doesn't really matter. So don't limit yourself to how it's got to be. Don't limit yourself because a lot of that's kind of ego when you say, oh, I have to have five people to do something or I have to have 10 people. Or if I, let's say I want to write a book, but I want this publishing and I want to publish it myself. We limit ourselves and we limit the realities because sometimes we have to open things up ourselves to bring. We have to open up, some people call them portals and I like that word too. You have to open up the portal to things. You have to sometimes pay to get your work out. You have to pay to open up. You have to, if you won't put your own money in something, usually someone else won't put their money in it for you either. If you don't believe you can do it, then no one else is gonna believe you can do it either. So remember, it always starts with us and where we are with it and how we feel about it. And don't limit it. <laughs> Limitation, I see that all the time. People who wanna work certain hours. They, they want something to come in, but they want it a certain way. They wanna work for a certain company. It's just they limit it, limit it, limit it, and they've limited so much you don't leave any room because you really don't know if that's the, let's say you want to work for a certain company, you don't know if that's the best vibration for that company. You don't know if that's really where you want to be. You've just set that in your mind that's where you have to be. It could be you go do something else and that company comes back around again or that person comes back around again because now you're in a different vibration, you're going to get a different aspect of that person, a different aspect of that whole environment that before it wasn't aligned. So some of those things don't come in because they're not aligned, but I found normally it's because I'm not aligned. <laughs> I'm limiting it. I want it to come in a certain way and it's not. And sometimes you start beating our, we start beating our head up against a wall because something's not coming in and we don't really know why. So look at your beliefs. Do you really believe something can happen? And get really broad with it. Like I say, don't say it has to be a certain company. It has to be a certain person. It has to be a certain way. It doesn't have to be. It can be any, you really don't care. As long as it's awesome and amazing, it doesn't really matter who coordinates it for you, who opens that door for you, who gives you that opportunity. It doesn't matter. This is like if you want money to come in. Do you care how it comes in? It doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. So look at your limits. Look at what you're willing to do. Like what you're not willing to do. Look at where you already set yourself up where I'm not going to do that. I want to work for this company, but wait, I don't want to get coffee. <laughs> I want to do this. I want to do this particular thing. Maybe getting coffee is how you meet one person and it blows up a whole different reality. Look at your limits. It is a huge thing. Look at what you're limited to. Look at what you want to do. Look at what you're not willing to do to bring that thing in, whatever that thing is. Okay, everybody. Remember, release the limits. Make sure you believe it can happen because if you cannot, you don't believe it. You cannot create it. <laughs> now that is cosmic law. And keep practicing the art of intuition.